and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a tutorial on this pride look right here. Since Miss Rona canceled my pride parade, I will be kikiing with y'all and showing y'all the tea on how to get this look. Before we jump into this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on my social media and let's get started. Okay, so as you guys know, I usually go into my eyebrows first. So I am taking this NYX Micro Brow Pencil and this one is in brunette. I can't even begin to tell you guys how excited I am to be doing a pride look right now. Like I was on Instagram last night getting so much inspiration. And I finally found a look. So I usually do like a crazy pride look every year. And this year I don't get to actually like do one and go to pride. So I'm a little salty. As you guys know, I'm going to cut out my brows with concealer. And this one is just the L'Oreal, the L'Oreal Infallible Wear Concealer. And this one is in 405 Toffee. And just because I'm gonna be putting on a lot of bright colors today, I am gonna go in with a little bit lighter concealer to hopefully just brighten my eyes a little bit. And I'm gonna set that with white eyeshadow. Now that my eyebrows are done and eyelids are set, let's jump into some color. The look I'm gonna be doing today is probably one of the hardest pride looks I've ever done and maybe one of the hardest makeup looks I've ever done so pray for me that this goes exactly how I want it to go and not awry okay guys so I already went and did this portion of my eye off camera and now I'm going to do this eye and bring you guys in just a little bit closer so that you can see exactly what I'm doing okay guys so today I will be using the James Charles palette for this look because it has every color in it we are starting out with this light green shade we are taking it in a rounded motion make sure not to blow this too far out because this is supposed to be a rounded look Next, I'm going to be taking this darker green shade on the same brush, which is just a fluffy Real Techniques brush. We are going to be placing it on top of the light green, but leave a little bit of room for that light green on the outer edges. Next, on this compact brush, I will be taking yellow, Yellow on my skin tone doesn't really show up even though I tried to use that lighter concealer, but at times I did mix it with orange just to bring the color out a little bit more. We are going to be meeting that yellow and green together while also keeping it close to the brow bone. Next on a compact packer brush, this one is from Sonia Kashuk. I am going to be taking a darker and lighter blue shade and meeting it with the green from before, but not going over it. And you're going to want to pack this on to get the most color payoff. Make sure to keep this color packed right underneath the green shade but not too far on the lid. We wanna keep this on the outermost edge and continuing to do it in a circular motion. And as you can see, mine got a little bit patchy, but I fix it, so it's fine. And it's okay to take your time guys this took me a really long time to get right so just be patient and go slow and it will come out perfect Yeah. 
Next, on a small packer brush, you want to take the red shade in the palette and put it right underneath the yellow shade and marry it in with the blue shade. You also want to make sure that you are angling this red shade down to follow your eye shape and not just straight across. But no worries if that happens because we are gonna go back in with concealer later and cut it out anyway. Go ahead and blend that red shade in with the blue. Right here, I'm just going back in with that green shade from before and blending around the edges of the blue because I forgot to do that. This just helps to keep everything rounded and blended. Now it is time to cut the crease. So taking this white concealer and a very small pointed brush, I am going to cut out the crease. Take your time while doing this. You're gonna wanna make sure that the concealer is helping you create this rounded eye look. So just make sure to take your time and get a nice even layer of concealer. I then set the concealer with white eyeshadow. Next, we are taking a mixture of the darker purple and the lighter purple in this palette and using it on a packer brush. This purple shade is going to go on the outermost corner of this look. I'm meeting it up all the way to the top of the cut crease, all the way down to the lash line. We will be putting about six colors on this lid, so just make sure you're not taking it too far over. Taking a packer brush again, we are now going to be taking this hot pink shade and placing it right next to the purple. Be sure to blend the two together so that it makes one seamless line. Next, on that same packer brush from before, we are going to be taking that red color again and placing it right next to the pink. Next, on a smaller packer brush, I'm going to be taking this orange shade and placing it right next to the red. Next, I will be using that same yellow from before and placing that right next to the orange and then going in on the same brush and using the green to place that right next to the yellow. Now here comes my least favorite part. This is white eyeliner. This is the Epic Liner by NYX in the color white. And as you can see here, I am taking that white eyeliner and drawing a line from where the colors that we put on first to the colors that we just put on, that intersection is exactly where you want a thin white line. So much easier said than done though, this was my hardest part of the entire look. Please take your time when doing this step. This was definitely the hardest moment of the entire look. And I definitely messed up on the line, but it's really hard to fix it once you put it down. So just make sure that you are taking your time so that you don't have as many mistakes as I did. Okay guys, so now that we have the top of the eyes done, this side came out like so much more, I don't know, I ran into so many more problems on this side than I did on this side, but you know, we'll keep working with it. I'm going to be taking this Master Prime um, Primer by Maybelline. It makes me so happy to have all this color on my face, you guys don't even know. So for concealer, I'm doing what I usually do. These are both the e.l.f. Um, 16 hour camo concealer. This one is in deep olive. I kind of use this to highlight with like a brighter color. And then this one is in deep cinnamon and this is just like my face color. 
I used to wake up every like pride morning literally at like 6 a.m. I think the parade starts usually around like noon I think is like kickoff and so I live like an hour and a half I guess from um, New York and my friends like we would just we would try to be leaving this like our area by like 9 30 10 o'clock and my pride looks always take me so long because there's so much like that goes into it usually not this much but i usually do like half colors on this side like the roy g biv thing half on this side half on the other eye so yeah i would usually get up at like six in the morning take a shower and then sit and do my makeup for just hours and but it gives me so much joy like i would be playing like all like pride playlists on Spotify, <laughs> like really getting ready for the day and loving it, loving every single second of me waking up that early. I think I said it in my last video or like one of my previous videos, but I can't even explain how upset I am that pride isn't happening this year. I have talked to like most of my friends and we're all like, we should just do something anyway, just throw like a little party, but Still, it's not pride <laughs> it's not being in the air like all the love and you know what I mean like just I don't know pride hits different and if you see me looking over here it's because my mirror is over here I have like a huge mirror right here but obviously you guys can't see that so if I was looking over there during like the voiceover part or right now that's what I'm looking at a mirror <laughs> Which I'm not gonna lie, I think that's why this eye came out so much better than this eye. Because I had a mirror like really, really close to my face, so. But it's fine, this side didn't come out bad. It's just different than the other one. <laughs> I really wish I was going to Pride, guys. This is really kind of sad to me. I know I keep saying it over and over again. I'm gonna get tired of Pride, but I'm just like, hmm. That's usually why I have this on my eyes. Like, you know what I mean? Now I'm just gonna go to Target looking like this. It has been so hot recently. Hot in my room, hot outside. It's horrible. Okay, it's not horrible. I like the I like hot weather. It's just like I don't know. When it gets to like 86 and above, <laughs> my tolerance for even wanting to be outside goes down to like two. To powder, I'm going to be taking these two. So this one is the Maybelline Fit Me um, translucent powder in 35 deep. And this one is just the regular old airspun translucent powder. One of the best actually. A technique that I learned for putting on powder is to splotch it off on your hand so that you don't get as much powder um, on your face. And that helps with just for like black girls, I guess you could say, or brown girls. Um, because for us, if we put on too much light translucent powder, it gets real ghost-like. So, as I said that, I didn't even do it that time. But, um, <laughs> and then what you can do usually is like use that powder then to like, um, like pick it off your um, hand and then you can use it for like the next one. It actually helps you save powder. So I just use the airspun underneath my eyes and then the rest of my face, I go in with that Fit Me um, powder. The other day I went on a hike with my friends and I don't know how, but somehow I really messed up my finger. It doesn't quite make a lot of sense, honestly. Like it's a little confusing to me even because I came back and my, I don't know, my finger hurts so bad and it's like irrelevant. Nobody cares about that, but somebody probably feels bad for me. Oh God, here the dogs come. I don't know if you guys can ever hear, but I swear every single time I film, my neighbor's dog comes out. Well, he comes out all the time. He also wakes up at like six in the morning and goes out. So it's really annoying, but um, he comes out and he just barks. Just barks for no reason, really. Just barking. <laughs> and I'm like, you're interrupting my video. I don't think you guys can really hear it because I'll either put like music underneath or um, I talk loud enough. <laughs> But yeah, I'm like, get back inside, Toby, get back inside. And yes, the dog's name is Toby. 
And then you can go in with a little bit of spray. This is the All Nighter Urban Decay Spray and just to melt all that translucent powder. I had a blue like glitter um, eyeliner, like coal liner. Now I can't find it. Whatever, no big deal. I'm gonna go in with this liner. Um, this is the Jumbo Eye Pencil um, by NYX. And it's a white one, so. If you have a colored one though, I would definitely use that. I'm just not gonna, cause obviously I can't. For my under eye, I'm going to be taking this smudge brush. This is by Sonia Kashuk. I feel like I've used it in a different video before. And I'm going to jump into the James Charles palette using that green from before and the blue. I'm actually going to be dipping into the darker green shade and the lighter green shade from the James Charles palette. I just realized that I should have put the blue in first and then the green. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Moving on to lashes, these are the Salon Perfect Pre-Permed Push-Up Lashes, and this is in Dramatic Curl. Okay, so while that dries, I am going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Bronzer, and I'm going to be, mm, can I speak? I'm going to be going in with this brush right here. It was very brave of me today to try to do this with a white shirt on. As if I'm not the sloppiest person in the world to be doing this with a white shirt on. Does anybody else really struggle with getting their, like when they cut their cheeks, getting these lines to be symmetrical? I have trouble with symmetry anyway, so maybe it's just a me thing. That might be the first time in literally months that it has not taken me four tries to do both my lashes. The trick is to let that dry down. Cause I used to never let it dry down. I would be like, oh, too much work. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want it to dry too much and then I can't stick it on. Then I have to take that glue off. Like, no. But this, especially the lash glue that I've been using, which is the, um, lash strip adhesive by kiss this is the um this is in black and it has aloe in it it's the worst one i've ever used ever but i think it's because it needs so long to dry down that it annoys me <laughs> seriously i'm of course going into my morphe 8w blush palette and i will be using the outer two corners the outer two colors uh for blush And I usually stipple on my um, blush. I don't usually like swipe it on. I usually like press, 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 press. I just think it comes out like so much prettier and you can really control exactly where you want the blush to go. And for me, like my apples of my cheeks are so big that the apple of my cheeks like 
They need a lot of work. <laughs> just clean that up a little bit. Blend those together. This is coming along so well, guys. I'm so happy. Remember when I just said how easy it was to put on my lashes? The front of it came off. Excuse me while I do work on this. Okay, well, while we re-wait to <laughs> um, put on some mascara, let's just go into highlight. Going back into this blush palette, I will be using a combination of these two right here and then probably another one on top of that. And if I didn't say the names of those, it's Babe and Witty. And because I just love highlights so much, I'm gonna be going into Golden Flower Crown and this one's by Wet n Wild. And I'm just gonna place that like literally intentionally right on this part of my cheek. I'm not taking it all the way down or back or anything, just literally right on the highest point of my cheek. Going back into my Lash Craft Mascara, this one is by Sephora. Oh, I'm feeling the fantasy. I am feeling the fantasy. Oh, I wish I was going to Pride. <laughs> um. All right guys, so we literally came all the way down to lips. <sighs> um, Big decisions here because I really don't know what I'm doing. You guys have suggestions? Cause you know I'm gonna say I'm gonna do a brown new lip. <laughs> um, I wanna do something fun, but at the same time, it's like the eyes are so much, I'd rather the eyes just be the focus of the look. So another tip I've learned throughout the years is to smile when you're doing like lip liner or lipstick, lip gloss, whatever you're doing, smile when you do it because most people will be like, but that's not how your lips usually are. You know what I mean? Your lips at rest are gonna just be normal in a smile usually. So, and it also, it, it also expands your lip enough It also expands your lip enough to not get any of the folds that naturally happen in your lip. And when I first tried to do that, I was like, I don't know what you're talking about, lady, but that is not working for me. Like it's so, it was so hard to train my lips to not go like, or whatever, or, like, you know what I mean? That's just doing too much. You just smile. It makes things much smoother. I am not realizing that I never put on a chapstick today. Am I okay? I think NYX needs to start sponsoring me because I have put so many people on to this lip liner. If you don't know, if you're new to my channel and you don't know, this is the slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme color lip liner. And when I first read that, I was like, okay, like that's the longest title in the world. And right underneath it, it goes, this lip liner is so good, the name had to be this long. Like NYX is just cocky at this point. NYX said, listen, trust us, trust us. Don't worry about the name, trust us. And then I'm gonna take this Need Me color and just on the inside of my lip, just rub it around.
I'm not mad at it. I honestly was gonna put on a gloss, but eh. Who am I if I don't put on a gloss? This one is the Milani Lip Plumper and this one is in Nude Shimmer. And I'm just gonna lightly put this on because really I, I do want the eyes to be the focus today. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I guess I can come in a little bit and show you guys the real tea, even though I was in here before, so you guys know exactly what this looks like. I really hope that you guys can create it. I hope this was informative and helpful. Happy Pride Month, y'all, especially those who identify as LGBTQIA. This is your month, so even though your state might not be having a Pride Parade, have one with your friends. That's what I'll be doing. <laughs> And make sure to follow me on all my social media. Give this video a like, a comment, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification button so that you are notified when I post again. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye beauties.